Hi, I'm Mark at the Endurance Store. This short video just to talk you through the Hoka shoes that we've got in the shop. If you've not heard of Hoka before, if you've not seen them, um, basically they're just a maximally cushioned shoe. So they have two to three times the cushioning of a normal mileage shoe from other manufacturers. And they also have a rocker system built in. You can see that the, the, the midsole is shaped, so it's like a U shape. And uh, that's designed so when you're tired and you start to heel strike, there's a really nice uh, transition to the forefoot. So they just roll really nice when you, when you heel strike. Whereas other shoes, when you get tired and you heel strike, tend to slap the ground and they feel very, very inefficient. So for long distance races, marathon, uh, ultra, for um, up to uh, for Ironman racing, uh, really popular uh, because of the way they feel, they reduce the impact damage. Uh, and also they allow you to roll more efficiently when you are tired. But also people with hip and uh, knee problems, we get a lot of those people who've come in and worn Hoka and said it's, uh, it's revolutionizer running. So the shoes we have in store, we've got a, a few different types of road shoes. So this is the Vanquish, that's the ladies. And that's the men's Vanquish. And the Vanquish is a, a huge cushioning in it, a great rocker system and a very soft feel to it. So it's quite a soft plush feel on the, uh, on the cushioning. And they've been super popular with people running marathons and Ironman competitions. We've got a, a Conquest and a Gaviotta. So this is the Gaviotta. Uh, basically the difference between the Conquest and the Gaviotta is the Conquest is the neutral shoe. And the Gaviotta is basically a Conquest with some support. So that's for people who pronate a little bit. Uh, the Conquest and the Gaviotta, again, maximal uh, cushioning. But they, um, they're a little bit firmer than the Vanquish. So Conquest is for neutral. Gaviotta is for people who pronate. But they both have a slightly firmer feel than the Vanquish, uh, which is a, quite a soft uh, midsole, whereas this, the rubber in this midsole is just slightly different. So it's worth just trying them both and just seeing what you like. But again, you can see from the midsole, it's got maximal cushioning and it's got the rocker system, which is inherent in all of the, uh, in all of the Hoka shoes. Um, we also, in, in off-road shoes, we have a, we've got the Speed Goat, and the Speed Goat is almost like a middle cushioning shoe, so it sits somewhere between their maximal cushioning shoe and their racing shoes. Uh, so the Speed Goat has got a good aggressive tread on the bottom. And then if, uh, for people who are running really long distances, so kind of marathons and up to ultras, uh, then we step up to the Mafati 2, which has got a lot more cushioning than the Speed Goat. Um, and uh, this has been massively improved. You know, had some criticism in the past because of the uh, lack of grip, but the grip's usually improved on it. And for people running ultra distance, uh, or for heavier people running up to marathon distance, it's a, a, a fantastic shoe. So our off-road shoes, Speed Goat, and my Fatty Speed 2. Um, so over the last couple of years, the popularity of Hoka has really skyrocketed because it's helped a lot of people, uh, say, who suffer doing the long distances, but it reduces that impact. Um, and it also that rocker system, people have just found it very, very comfortable so they can heel strike and just roll really efficiently. Um, so give us a call on 01257 251 217 or just come into the store and you can have a look at them and try the different shoes on because they they do have different fittings and a different feel depending on which model you choose. Um, but yeah, come in store and we can, we can talk you through the options and which one will suit you best.